this one's big. But I'm gonna lose my keys. Holy crap, this one's big. I just walked over here. My keys are underneath here. This cannot break. Dude, this one's a monster. He's all the way down there. Dude, how big is this one? Gaining some ground. Holy cow. This is the biggest one I've ever fought. This thing's a monster. I've never felt one this big. I was unexpected. I walk up here, my GoPro is off and everything. Just when I thought I was gaining ground on him. My arm's getting tired. What is on this? No, no, no. My keys. No. My freaking keys are down there. That thing was giant. Freaking giant. I just lost my freaking keys. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Well, I'm back at the house and I don't even know how to begin to start the end this. Um, what I'm probably gonna do is I'll make this probably a two-parter because I didn't catch anything. I did spend about two and a half minutes trying to catch a fish with it breaking off and me losing my keys on top of it. So let me explain to you how I lost my keys real quick, just in case if it's not, if it's not there. Uh, what happened was I didn't have any bells with me that I could put on my pole. So I get the bright idea to put my keys there. I put that on there thinking if it goes off, hey, it, uh, it alert me because I'm going to do some bass fishing while I'm, while I'm waiting. So I go down. I do some bass fishing. As soon as I walk around the corner, that pole just goes off. I didn't have time to react or anything. Um, and that goes off. By the time I even even noticed, my keys were halfway down my line and going into the water. I already looked at the footage. It's not on there. Um, the, the carp surfaced, and I could see the carp, but I don't have that on the footage either. Like I had to bend down. Because their trees were so low, I had to bend, bend down. And so the, the camera angle isn't the best. That's how I ended up losing my keys. This video right now isn't very interesting. Like I said, I want to make it a two-parter. And uh, see, see how that goes. Stay tuned, and I will be back the next day. I want to start this off by first apologizing for some of the footage not having sound. I just got a case for my um, my GoPro, and it was a, it allowed me to put an external mic on there so I can get clear audio and don't have to worry about sound so much. Well, for some reason, when I put it on, it didn't 
it didn't work properly there was some of my footage that didn't have any sound that wasn't very good so I just wanted to clear that up and apologize for it Well, I had my GoPro off. Of course I did. I was sitting here going over footage and my pole just went down. Let me show you what I just caught. Yeah, that just happened. Of course my GoPro would be off. Look at that brute right there. That's a pretty big fish right there. Sorry for some of the, the footage. First couple times when I got bites, I wasn't even near my poles. I was still setting up. I was putting all my camera gear together. Everything just happened so fast and I wasn't even near my rods. So I didn't get none of that on footage. It was just bad, like the audio. And then there was one fish, my biggest fish, of course, the biggest one I catch. I was looking at the footage on my phone and when you do that you can't record at the same time so I had the camera next to me um, I had my phone there I threw them down I grabbed the rod I reeled them in then I had to set up and stuff so yeah it was kind of a that was a rough one you know it was my biggest one I fought it for a couple minutes before I actually was able to wrestle it in. I about lost it. I went to kind of pull it up on the bank, and when I did, the hook popped out. So I jumped down there real quick. I grabbed that fish up, and I hopped back on the bank real quick, because it was about ready to, to take a dive right back in the water. I wasn't gonna lose that fish. I was going in after it. I did not care. So, but that's pretty much what happened when I caught that fish that you didn't get to see. It, um, it popped off, I mean, right there. I was just trying to bring it up a little bit more so I didn't get as wet, but when I pulled it up, I mean, that hook came out, and luckily, the fish just stayed there when the hook came out. It didn't hurry up and jump back in, but it tried, and I grabbed it, and I got up on the bank. But it, uh, it worked out. I got him. It was my biggest one. If anything is out of whack, I am no way shape or form a professional editor at all like I didn't even start filming and editing until about a month ago so just please bear with me as I work out my kinks and and stuff like that and, and get into a better flow and and stuff so just just give me some time my videos will get better enjoy some some fishing videos and stuff because I enjoy making them I hope some of y'all enjoy watching them but just just give it time my, my quality will eventually get better my editing stuff like that I just want to apologize for that and stuff but I'm gonna elaborate um, today wasn't so bad um, I did catch a catfish and um, I think I caught four maybe five carp I can't I think it might be four um, it wasn't too too bad. I was using corn and hot dogs. Anyways, uh, I plan on trying to get out tomorrow and do some fishing. I might go out with a buddy of mine. Um, if if he can't make it, then you know I might might take the family out with me tomorrow. So 
I would have liked to known that one fish that I lost, that one carp that I did lose, when I lost my keys, I would have liked to known what that one was. I brought some heavy duty rods this time because I wasn't going to lose those fish. So I went ahead and brought my heavy rod, my medium heavy rod, my heavy rod had had 30 pound fluorocarbon on it. And my medium heavy rod had 30 pound braid on it with a 30 pound leader. Because I used a 12 pound leader before um, of the fluorocarbon and it broke off. So then I was like, that's it, I'm done. So I broke off two fish that way. And uh, it wasn't good. So I switched over to the 30 pound fluorocarbon and said the hell with it. I'm gonna catch a fish, I'm getting tired of losing them. So that's what I did. I switched over and that's when I caught that big one. It probably was good that I switched. I appreciate y'all watching and um, I thank y'all for the views. If you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up i would really appreciate that and if you haven't already please subscribe um, it helps me out encourages me to make more videos please don't forget to click that like button that helps me out a lot too it lets me know that i'm doing okay i'm going to keep pushing on it doesn't really matter to me really i like doing this I'm, i like fishing you know i like filming i want to get better at it i appreciate you all for watching and stay tuned for the next video. I'll see y'all later.